Welcome back to the channel everybody. In today's video I'm going to try, um, it's a gray shade scale, fish scale, fade wrap, I, I don't know what we're going to call it yet, but um, I laid out the rod. I'm not going to show that in this video. As you can tell, there's a lot of, got a lot of marks on here on how I want to do it. This is all the math involved. If you look down here on the bottom, see a rod blank isn't perfectly straight all the way. It's 11.74 millimeters on this end and 11.32 millimeters on this end. And the wrap is gonna be total length 145 centimeters or millimeters. So, uh, I went through it and these are all the calculations I came up with because it, it gets smaller so you can't just do the same number all the way, you know what I'm saying? But that's where we are and uh, I'm going to get started on this wrap. I will explain in another video on how to lay all these out. It's a lot of math, uh, but to, to do it right, you got to do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you have a wrap you're interested in I've never tried this wrap before so uh, we're gonna learn it together let me put this uh, it's gonna be these grays and a black or an outline so it'll be six colors and, and it's gonna look sort of like a fish scale is what I'm planning and uh, we're gonna get right started on it I'm gonna fast forward all this stuff because you know how long these videos take and uh, we'll just keep going on it All right, everybody. Now, this is gonna be five wraps of each color. I've never done this wrap before, like I explained. Um, we're gonna be learning this one together. So you can see what mistakes I make as I make them. And uh, we're just gonna keep on going with it. I don't know why this camera is so weird, but. All right, we're just gonna keep on rolling. starting to doubt myself if uh, I would be able to fit all five colors in here. I'm not going to spend hours cleaning up all these threads because, <coughs> excuse me, as you guys know, I just do this to show you guys the wrap. And then I rip it apart anyway, so I won't be going nuts with my thread. But you need to really keep your threads 
nice when you're doing this. All right, we're just gonna keep going. All right, that's all five of the first couple. Like I was saying, I, I'm ha I'm having doubts if I'm gonna hit all five colors. If not, it'll be a four color fade wrap. And uh, next time I'll go four wraps with each one. But like I said, I'm just learning how to do this myself with you guys. So we're learning together. Any mistakes I make, you will see them. We're, we're both learning from my mistakes. We'll all learn from my mistakes, rather. So let's uh, tighten some of these threads up, and uh, we'll move on to the next color. Okay, as you can see, we have the first gray on there I'm just gonna keep on going let me uh, I'm just gonna tighten this thread up so it can't get away and uh, we'll move over to this thread and uh, see if it's gonna work I don't know how it's gonna look until it's done Again, I've never ever tried this wrap, so I hope it comes out decent. We're about to find out. I don't know what happened there. I think the camera shut off. Wasn't recording. I need to invest in some real cameras for this type of filming. 
GoPros are nice for on the boat, but for filming this, they're not very good. They don't. I even bought a 15 times zoom for this camera, and it's still just not enough. And we're just gonna keep going. This will be our last one of this color. I do not think that I can get three more colors in here. I really, really don't. I miscalculated on my math. I might have did it for size uh, A thread, and this is size D thread. I was thinking that I could get five threads or something like that per millimeter, but that ain't the case. I ain't getting nowhere near that. And I have like nine millimeters in between each jot. So, I don't know why I was thinking. But we will soon find out. All this is a bunch of little chevron wraps, really. So, I mean, if you can do a chevron wrap, you can definitely do this. Listen to me talking like I've done it before. We'll find out if we can do it. <laughs> I think it would be better to do my first one with you guys so we can all see what I've done wrong. So far, we know my spacing's wrong. I think layout is the hardest part of rod wrapping. If you're not learning something new every time, you're not really pushing yourself to the limit. I love learning new wraps. I'm going to try to do couple of months be nice to get one a week it all depends on work and if I'm out fishing that week or not I did have a company reach out to me to do a product re another product review for them and uh, I told them I'm, I mean I'll review the product just as long as you want an honest review, if you want a sugar-coated review, I'm not your guy. But if you want me to try it out and tell people what I think about it, I'm, I got no problem with that. You guys all know me. I'm not bashful. I'll tell you what I think. recommend something that I won't use myself so they didn't ask for you know if I would recommend it or anything like that they just asked me to do a product review it's nothing not a major product but it's, it's fun to talk to new people what's that yeah, I'm about done. I got one more pass to this one.
Okay, there you have it. A shaded gray scale. Came out good first time we ever tried it. If you remember in the beginning of the video, I was going to use four, um, four different colors of gray. But when I... I did not do my calculations right. Um, I think I did my calculations for size 8 thread. And this is size D thread. So um, I ended up having to uh, forsake one of my gray th uh, wraps. So it's only four gray and then one strand of black. Now what I could do on the next one if I want to have five shades of gray. Only do four wraps on each pass. And that would give me enough room for the last, the fifth uh, color for four passes. But like I said, it's my very first one. I wanted to do it with you guys. Came out good. Thanks for watching, everybody. We got the thousand subscriber uh, giveaway coming up. Our one year anniversary is coming up. We've got a lot going on this uh, this week coming up in the next couple weeks, uh, rather. And uh, we'll keep things going. Let me know if you want to do another um, rod raffle. Or I'm always willing to do another rod. All right. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Let me know what you think of the video, everybody. Thanks for watching.